of experiments that you'll see talked about and done in biomolecular sciences are gels and blots, and they provide complementary information, and gels are typically the precursors to blots. So what the heck am I talking about? Gels refers to gel electrophoresis. This is where you use electricity to separate biological molecules by size by sending them through a gel mesh. The bigger molecules are going to travel slower, and so when you stop the electricity, you freeze them where they are in their gel, the bigger things are going to be higher up, and the smaller things are going to be lower down. We use agarose gel electrophoresis, which is typically done in a horizontal slab for big pieces of DNA and RNA, and then we use thinner vertical slabs of polyacrylamide gel for our polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, our PAGE, for smaller pieces of RNA and DNA, and then SVS PAGE is a technique that we use for proteins, where the SDS part refers to the detergent that we use in order to unfold the proteins and give them a negative charge. When you stop the electricity, the molecules are where they are in the gel, and then you can use some sort of stain in order to see the molecules. It'll tell you the size of the molecules in terms of their molecular weights, compare where they are to the bands of a known standard, that'll give you an idea of the rough size of the molecule. You can also see how many molecules there are, and so then we get into thinking about purity. Those are the types of things that you can get from a gel. A blot, on the other hand, there you're looking for a specific molecule. And so we can talk about western blotting, where we're looking for a specific protein using antibodies, southern blotting, where we're looking for specific pieces of DNA using DNA probes, and northern blots, where we're looking for specific RNA pieces using DNA probes. And so the key thing with these is that it's kind of like go fish. You have to ask for, is that molecule here using a specific probe that's only going to recognize that specific molecule? So you don't get the information about the purity or anything like that, and you don't even get the identity of molecules that you don't look for. But if you want to verify the identity of a molecule, or if you want to see if a molecule is present, then the blots are a way that you can do that. In order to see anything in a blot, what you actually do is you do gel electrophoresis first. It's going to separate the molecules out and make them so that your final data is going to be cleaner and you preserve that size information. Once you stop the gel, they're stuck in place, and instead of staining them, what you do is you actually transfer them out of the gel and onto a membrane. This is going to be a more stable surface that you can actually go and probe, and it's going to prevent the molecules from diffusing. For the nucleic acid ones, typically also are going to like UV cross-link them to the membrane. And then you go in with your probe. Typically before you actually probe though, you're going to block it with some generic molecule, some generic DNA or generic protein. So typically like milk protein so that our probes aren't just going to bind non-specifically when you don't get high background. 